des drones pour protéger les According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, there are nine subspecies of giraffe now under threat of extinction, and conservationists fly over Benue National Park in Cameroon to collect visual data on giraffe habitat. Take a look. Just like human fingerprints, no two giraffes have the same coat pattern as beautiful animals the world's tallest mammal, with a recorded height of about 5.9 for the tallest and thus over a meter higher than a double-decker bus. Its incredible beauty, outstanding height and speed did little to hold it back from facing extinction. Giraffes are currently red-listed as critically endangered species by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. An unpleasant news for conservationists and animal lovers desperate for measures, describing it as a race against time. I think if current trends continue, probably within our lifetime, we will see the extinction of the Cordofan giraffe. If we don't actually input our actions and start to better protect these regions, um, while the population is around 2,000 individuals, breeding individuals, so adults that are actually reproducing, is less than 1,400. Cordophones, one of the nine subspecies of giraffes, are distributed over several Central African countries. Researchers say not knowing how many are in any given region and how they use the environment is part of their biggest challenge. One of our priorities at the moment is just understanding how many are there and how are they using their environment. And because of the difficulty of moving about, we're using camera traps. So we set them up around the national park um, and we get photographs back and we can use the spot pattern of the giraffes to identify individuals. In quest to explore for answers, the drone technology proves credible. The conservationists are flying drones over Benu National Park in Cameroon to gather visual data of the giraffe's habitat. The other thing we're doing is using drones to be able to see how they're moving within the area. Um, that's used for wildlife monitoring, but it's also used by the eco-guards who are patrolling to try to deter illegal activities. They are also working with universities to build specialized drones to carry infrared cameras and use computer vision technology to accurately survey vast areas, normally impenetrable because of the terrain. Hoping to eventually discover more about giraffe's movement and how those within the national park interact with others in neighboring areas.